Today I'm chatting with Jeff Moxham from Ray White Commercial who has ventured into the world of digital marketing and social media and Jeff's going to share his experience with us. Thank you for coming Jeff. Thanks for having me. Jeff, give me um, insight into your background. Your um, family has been very active in real estate for many decades. Yes, that's correct. Yes, my grandfather started Moxham's Real Estate in Parramatta in 1950. And my father went on to, to run that business for 30, uh, over 40 years. Um, and then I took it to the third generation for 10 years. And um, yeah, it's very uh, rich in our, uh, in our veins, the property business. And why commercial? What took you into the commercial world? Um, so we, we sold the family business and I had actually had a break from property and realised very quickly that I missed it hugely and it was uh, hugely in my blood and it was my thing. So I came back and uh, was checking out the various areas of the industry and um, thank goodness I ended up in commercial, got my weekends back and it was like the, um, it was like the light had been found. So um, yeah, that's, that's and then I was at Jones Lang LaSalle for uh, about 10 years and um, I met um, Dan and, and Brian White and the White family who were keen to take their brand to a corporate level here in New South Wales. And um, we formed a partnership, which is this business, Ray White Commercial New South Wales. That was about five, almost six years ago now. And it's just been an amazing run. And um, yeah, best move I ever made and uh, wonderful family and, and group to work for. And I've, um, I've certainly learnt a thing or two about running real estate businesses. Very good. And so share with me um, what your um, strategy is for bringing people together in the industry and sharing advice to people that are in your database. Yes, so for a long time I've been wanting to implement um, something, uh, something of value from a, from a social media point of view, from a communication point of view to, to sort of my clients. Um, I see um, what a lot of these wonderfully well-run residential offices do and to be honest the commercial industry as agents have got a lot to learn from the residential agents. Some of these businesses, you know, 50 salespeople strong can forecast 12 months in advance how many deals they're going to pitch on, how many they're going to win, what the fee's going to be and also further to that the high profile agents just very good about how they promote themselves and what they're going to how, the, the image that again they, they want to portray to their clients, and I found um, uh, with commercial, I, I see it um, as important, if not more important, as we're lucky in the commercial industry that we sometimes will transact multiple times with with the one client. So um, it's it's I, I I have thought a lot about how I can try and communicate with my clients. Um, more regularly, but offer them something that is of value as opposed to um, you know just putting out a post that we've listed and we've sold. Um, hence, meeting yourself and um, your wonderful company, Hall, Com Hall Co. And we've been six months in, and the feedback's been just fantastic. Thank you very much. So, so explain to our viewers what the um, premise of your content is like. Who's it for and um, who's involved? I want it to be um, in people's inboxes and see it on social media and say, oh, that, that, I'll look at this. So it's not so much about us beating our chest of what deals we do, which we do that anyway, and we love to do that, but it's more interacting with our clients just in a little bit more of an intelligent sort of fashion, ideally, is the aim of it. And you've involved your peers in the industry, people that you work alongside, other businesses. How did that come about? Yes, so that was um, a, a suggestion from, from yourselves in when we sat down and we've done our 12 month strategy on who we're gonna communicate to and what we wanna communicate. Um, it was suggested that we interview key people in the industry and it's just gone down really well. So I, um, so far we've done sort of 
oh, probably 10 or so interviews, some videos, some written, and um, they've all been really excited to be involved. And it's also been a great tool for them to share with their clients as well. So it's not just about me, um, you know, trying to sort of, again, you know, it's not just about us looking for profile, it's about, it's just, helping other businesses as well and they're businesses that may be new as well like mine so it's just a two, it's a two-way street it's something that is good for us good for the industry and good for them as well and it's been yeah it's been received really well and you've um really gone out on a limb and you're sharing some of the behind the scenes yes. um intel or or um about leadership because yes. you're you know you're already a well revered leader in the industry in the commercial industry you're well known you have a reputation already um and and you have actually um started to share not uh, just for potential clients but you've shared insights for your own peers or yes. or people that are coming up the ranks. Yes. So what was um, what drove you to do that? I had in my mind for some time. I've gone through some big changes in the last year, and I've I had whilst when the market changed, um, and we've been in a boom for many many years, and I think some of us got caught by surprise, and I was one of them. Um, had a very tough year in sort of 17, 18 and really changed everything, a lot about how I operate during my days, but also personally, what time I get up, what I eat. I've always been quite fit and healthy, but I've really gone into the micromanagement of what do I need to do to just get more out of myself, be able to give more to my family and more to my, my business because everything needed more time. So I just needed to really look at how I did that. and. Um, it was just a really wonderful journey and I just wanted to share it with people um, and it was I got quite a few personal messages from people saying that was just really a wonderful article thanks for sharing thanks for putting yourself out there I got it's been interesting at the Christmas functions with all of my fellow agents and of course heaps of ribbing heaps of jokes um, but I take it as a, a compliment and um, yeah, it was really putting myself out there and I, it was just a great, I think just a great, um, the, the heading that you came up with, which I really liked, was how the property downturn fueled my upturn and that was really exactly it, um, what changes I made and um, how they've sort of benefited, benefited me. And how um, easy or difficult has it been um, sharing how you actually truly are running your business or feel about your business or managing your time with your peers. Yes, challenging. Yeah, personally, very challenging. In particular, that article, because it was really personal. But, um, I mean, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Like, just get out there and have a go. Um, and, you know, they say, and I've been to a couple of other sort of seminars and conferences on this sort of thing. and. They say the raw are the better, really, for engagement. Um, yeah. And so, yeah, it was challenging, but the feedback's been great. And um, it's, I've needed to get myself into the flow of making it a really big part of my business. And now I really enjoy it. And I thoroughly enjoy the editing process. And your team do such a great job on taking, basically, I brain dump. And they say, yep, put it into, um, into words and um, I really enjoy how they do that and just tweaking it and, and it's just a great experience. So I'm um, looking forward to sort of doing more. And explain um, in terms of the stats that we've seen. Yes. Um, which, so we've got two types of content. We've got content which is really um, about leadership and, um, uh, you know, growing a business yes. and all that comes as being a business owner. And then yes. we've got content that is um, more industry focused yes. with ex you know, experts in their field. Yes. Um, which ones have had the, you know, the biggest uplift? It's been really well received on both fronts. Like the industry interviews have been great. The personal ones, a lot of interaction as well and a lot of personal messages. So it's hard to pick which ones have received more. I think um, 
different people interact onto different ones and it's really interesting in in seeing that and it's been yeah it's it's great and um i'm, I'm sure we'll see sort of you know more people doing it in in the years to come or, and possibly next year it's um it's been wonderful well thank you so much for your time and your insights and sharing your experience with our viewers it's my pleasure thank you for everything your team and your business have, have done with us and look forward to working with you next year and good luck with the rest of your interviews thank you thanks jeff cool